But this one has been fun. Indiana the four seed, Kent State the 13 seed in the Midwest. Indiana looking for their first NCAA tournament win in the round of 64 since 2016. Seven years to the day when they beat Chattanooga in the round of 64. They beat them handily by 25. IU reached the Sweet 16 that year and eventually lost to the number one overall seed in North Carolina. So the Hoosiers looking for their first win in this round as Race Thompson misses the first of two free throws in seven years. Thompson at the free throw line. He's had quite the half so far. 69% foul shooter. Bends the knees, eyes the rim, and knocks down the second to make it 27-23 Indiana. Yeah, he's been good so far. 11 points. He's a career high 22. We had to look that up because he's been playing so well. Wondering if he'll chase down that Providence record he had that he got almost three years ago now. I did that game in the studio with Derek Decker. How about now that? that? Now that you... COVID times. Uh, yep, absolutely. Sullinger drives inside. The lefty pulls a mid-range jumper on Jackson Davis. Missed it. Peyton got another offensive rebound, but they're going to say he pushed off, yep. and it was an offensive foul. Ball goes back to Indiana. It definitely is a problem, though, how much ease they're finding at receiving these boards. Race Thompson's been really good. Maybe you consider bringing in Malik Renew because he's been a guy who's been catching these rebounds really successfully for Indiana early on in, in these games and helping them with their offensive rebound or defensive rebound struggles, I should how, say. How about these extended minutes, Jack, with no Jalen hood Shafino? Yeah. It's been Galloway at point, handing off to Cop. now Bates, back to Galloway. They play catch on the perimeter. Galloway drives on Sullinger, finds Thompson inside, goes inside, plays the glass and scores. 13 first half points for Ray Thompson, and Indiana's ahead by six. Crazy, crazy work from him there. Sullinger kicks outside to Jacobs. Jacobs finds Peyton inside, spins to the middle of the paint, fired a fadeaway over Jackson Davis and scored. Great shot. He almost had to pump fake, kind of slow it down in the middle of the air as Jackson Davis had a good contest. You mentioned it. Great shot. 29-25 Indiana. Galloway dribbles with his left hand, knee high, now crosses over, kicks a pass opposite corner. Bates thought about three instead, fires a contested mid-range jumper and missed it. Not a good shot from Bates there as Thompson tried to get this loose ball. He hustles, he dives. That's what Race Thompson's all about. It's yeah. out of bounds off Indiana Kent State ball. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of effort from Race Thompson there. And he's dedicated. You know, of that starting five for Indiana out the court right now, yeah. a lot of these guys probably moving on. They're just graduating, and it's going to be their last opportunities at this level. March Madness in college basketball for Indiana. They're going to give it all in here today. Both teams will. Now this team is experienced outside of Hood Shafino and Renew, the only guys that have played that have not seen madness in March their first time in the NCAA tournament Indiana leads by four two and a half to play in the first driving inside playing the glass reverse layup is good by Sin Sin sincere carry his second made field goal he's up to six points yeah carry kind of growing into the contest imagine maybe the bit of knee soreness he's dealing with is maybe hopefully fading off rather than the case where he needs to kind of ice it at times arrest it at times the neutral would love to see him be at his explosive best nine points for carry excuse me I forgot the miraculous three uh, yeah 15 seconds on the shot clock for Indiana. Jackson Davis triple teamed as he spun baseline. It was bumped and off of Kent State. Huchifino is going to sub back in here for Indiana, and we'll see who it's for. It's for Tamar Bates. Yeah, I think it's a good sub. Bates 0-3 yeah. shooting. Not quite able to click with the same amount of frequency. Actually, you know, there was a question mark if it was going to be him coming out or not, but just hasn't been able to hit the shots that he was hitting against Penn State. Indiana by two, 2.10 to play in the first half. Jackson Davis at the free throw line, spins on Peyton in the middle of the paint. Thought about a hook shot, got it to go. Jackson Davis put it up and in, 31-27, Indiana leads. That was even well defended by Kent State there, but it's just so hard when he has such a wide array of moves and touch when he puts that one up to the basket. And so it's Sullinger handling up top, gets it in the hands of Chris Peyton beyond the three-point line, dribble handoff, back to Carey. Top of the key, guarded by Galloway. Crossover dribble, behind the back, through the legs, steps back, and now kicks into the corner. Davis, a three. Davis missed it long, and Thompson has the rebound for Indiana. Galloway handles, right arc, crosses over, behind the back, gets to the rim, finger rolls it up and in. Wow. What an array of moves from Trey Galloway to get to the rim there, and just a nice bit of a, a finger roll almost to get that one to fall. 33-27 Indiana. Sullinger, a right wing three. It oh. rims out. Spun all the way around. Jackson Davis got the board, and a foul committed there by Jacobs. Yeah. Wow, that one was, I mean, a fraction of an inch yeah. for Sullinger. Any direction almost. That one's falling a bit nicer, but it just spins out. And nearly a nice offensive rebound. Now here's the interesting thing. Jalen Huchifino coming out of the game again. I, I think 
Fino's got two. I think what, what Woody's thinking is minute eight, minute 13 left. Keep him without three fouls yeah. for this final 73 seconds. As Jackson Davis will be at the free throw line, Kent State, their seventh foul committed. They're in the single bonus. So TJD at the line for free throws three and four. He has made his first two. And he fires and knocks in the first and front end of the one and one, 34-27 Indiana. It's been a close game, but at seven points now, might be the biggest lead it's been. The largest lead was eight. They could tie that with a make here. They will. Jackson Davis knocks down both free throws. Big moments for Kent State because they've been close throughout, but if they lose one or two possessions here, it could be a double-digit game heading into halftime, which would just not represent the full 20 minutes. A minute to play in the first half. Here comes some Indiana fans. Hoosiers by eight. Top of the key, Peyton has it. Picks up his dribble, finds Sullinger guarded by Bates. 15 on the shot clock. Sullinger behind the three-point line. Dribbles through his legs, now drives. Jackson Davis picks him up. He steps back, now drives inside again. Baseline kicks. Davis finds Jacobs. Jacobs finds Carey. Four on the shot clock. Fires a deep three. Missed it long off the back rim. Rebound tut, tipped out, and Jacobs has it. Inside, Peyton on the second chance. Missed another layup. That was a bunny. He took that one badly there. Mike Woodson wants a timeout. And Indiana and Mike Woodson will take that timeout. They've gotten really lucky with a lot of these misses around the rim for Kent State. Indiana leads 35-27, 35 seconds to play in the first half.